cute this is. On the ready back. On the ready bit. <laughs> Hans, look how cute this is. It matches my top. Oh my god, it's me. The ready brick box has a bear on it. It's so cute. Hello, honeys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then I've talked about 500 miles per hour per second. But hello. My name is Imogen. Thank you so much for finding me. I don't know how you have. And to my hun buns out there that are still subscribed, thank you. We're going to glow today. I'm recreating this look. Okay, I've showed you how to do the hair. I've showed you how to do the glow. I've got a little Senorita top on today. Senorita, I feel for you. Feel, feel. Stop. Also, how cute is this choker? It's not actually a choker, it like goes down. Oh, let's just leave that one down there. Okay, so before we begin today, I'm gonna do some shout outs. Yay. So Hayley Moore wrote one of my photos and I saw this comment and I was like, oh my God, you're an angel. She has been going through a really difficult time at the moment. Don't know why I just went like this because I'm feeling you, Hayley. I'm feeling with you. I love you so much. She's been going through a really difficult time at the moment and she's just got a puppy, which is amazing. So congratulations for just getting a puppy and I hope you're okay, angel. My thoughts and prayers are with you and your husband. I love you so much. Okay, my next shout out is to Karis Reynolds and she drew this photo of me and tagged me in it on Instagram and I'm like, it's amazing. It's so cool. It's me with butterfly wings. Look how cute that photo is. You are so talented. Harris, you are amazing. I literally showed my brother that photo. I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. I've got butterfly wings. Thank you for even taking the time out of your day to draw me. Hun, you're such a hun bun. I love you. You're so talented. And you watch my videos. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Okay, so stop talking, Imogen. Without further ado, let's get on with the makeup look. If you want to see how I got this makeup and hair look and go from zero to trying to be 100, then keep watching. Okay, little angels, let's begin. Let's begin. Let's start at the very beginning. Have I done that on another video before? If I have, then oh my God. Do you ever remember when Lizzie McGuire was like, you out for a Peter? I used to love Lizzie McGuire. I used to love Lizzie McGuire. And I don't know why I just said outfit repeater. It's because I just repeated something, which I think I've done another another video before, but hmm, we're just gonna not ignore that one. I've got a mirror here, Huns, today. I've got an actual table. It's so exciting. I've got a table. Do you like this top, by the way? It like does up here. Cute. 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 Today we're gonna start with, oh, I haven't got my Mario Badesco. Need to go and get that one. Okay, I'm back and I've got my spray. So let's spray. Our face with no mouth open still gonna go in there anyway isn't it because you're gonna talk let's be real okay then we're gonna prime our face with my new favorite thing at the moment also yes to the red matching my top sorry sorry so we're gonna take the Clarins Beauty Flash Balm I say it an edamame size amount and we're just gonna pat this on our face someone told me to pat pat's better apparently little pat cute pat we're not gonna do it really heavy on the eyes. This is a really simple makeup look. Do you know what I wanted to do? I really wanted to do the no makeup makeup look because I found a tinted moisturizer that I'm in love with. I've already done my eyebrows and also I use my gimme brow and really brush them up. I wanted to make them look quite fluffy. Don't know if they do look fluffy, but should we add a little bit more? Let's add a bit more and make them look even fluffier because we're going for that whole glowy editorial brow. I don't even know. I put my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, by the way, as a base, but I haven't set it with powder. I want it to be quite tacky so that when I do apply my eyeshadow, it's just sort of chilling. Do you know what I mean? I don't want it to be really powdery, this look. Oh, I love you, I love you. I've misplaced my Holy Grail. My Holy Grail Violet Voss Palette. I can't find it anywhere. I don't know where it is. I'm a bit concerned, but I know I'll find her. She'll come back. A little Vi Vi. But instead, for today, we've got big Vi Vi. I'm going to use this. Look at this. I can't. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to. On my M511, I'm gonna take Abigail and Leslie. Am I? Yeah, I am. And we're just gonna blend this into our crease. This is a really thick brush. This is a really easy makeup look, by the way, because <sighs> my name's Imogen Hudson and I only like simple makeup looks because I don't think I'm very good at makeup. It's raining outside and I get to film talking to my angels. Like, is this a joke? This is so nice. I love it when it's raining outside and you watch a film and I love duvet days. I love duvet days. I'm all about a duvet day. The thing is, what's difficult is, my ideal first date would be a duvet day. You know, like get some, mm, I can't have ice cream because of my stomach, but there's ice creams I can have. Alternates, alternates, alternate options. You know when you say a word, you're like, am I saying it right? There's alternate option, just shut up. But I would love a duvet day as my first date. The thing is, by the way, we're taking this all over, like all up in here, all up at the top. Do you know what I mean? On the same brush, and then I'm gonna finish my story about duvet days, we're gonna take Alice and Caitlin. We're using the same brush, who cares? Then we're gonna deepen that crease. I would like a duvet day as my first date, but the thing is, 
then men get the wrong end of the stick, don't they? Because they think, oh yeah, well she's game. It's like, no mate, this isn't Netflix and chill. This is actually just Netflix and I'm chilling. Like, I just want to be in a tracksuit. I just want to be chill. Do you know what I mean? Because I feel like you really get to know someone like that. Like when I go to a bar and stuff, I feel like it's a little bit of pressure. I don't know, I just prefer dates, like, and you can't go to cinema really, can you, as a first date, unless you go for ice cream or something beforehand, but I'd have to tell him I can't have dairy, so we'd have to go somewhere else different, you know what I mean? And also, you don't speak in a cinema, do you? Like, that's why I go to cinema on my own, because I don't speak to anyone in the cinema, I don't turn around and go, unless I'm seeing a Marvel film with Jacob, that is when I talk to someone, because I'm like, Jacob, this is sick! We basically get up off our chairs, we're like, I'm definitely gonna zoom into that face, aren't I? Let's be real. Does anyone else feel me though? Like, duvets are so much nicer. You can chill, you can be around that person that you wanna get to know. If you do have a duvet day as a first date, obviously we're not on the duvet. We've just got like a cover and we're like chatting. Don't worry, no funny business. Definitely not on a first date, definitely not. Bringing this out slightly. If you're not feeling what they're like or whatever, you can just leave. I love going to nice places and stuff like that. I'd rather get to know someone more like intimate where I don't feel pressure around me. I don't feel like everyone's staring, looking at my first date. Do you know what I mean? Do you ever feel like that when you go on a date? You're like, everyone is looking at me. No one's looking at you, but you feel like they are. But then you won't have to wait for main course and dessert. If you are done by starter, you can't leave. You're stuck there like, I don't really like this guy and it's not going anywhere, so why am I sitting here for two more courses? No, no, no. If it's in the comfort of someone else's home, you can just be like, listen, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Then next, we're gonna take these two shades at the bottom, Ashley and Sarah. Go on, Ashley and Sarah. Go on, girls on my taper blending brush and I'm just gonna go into the outer corner there and then bring that into the crease. Do you know what I really want? I want a gentleman. I want someone that walks me home after a date and doesn't try and kiss me until I'm ready. I want an old fashioned gentleman. Where are they at? It seems like now, if you wanna go at a normal pace and you wanna take things slow, like it should be done, people are like, I'll see you later, I'll go and get a baby gal on Tinder and it's like, oh, thank you. Thanks, hon. You were worth it, not. That's why I might just chill. I just wanna focus on doing my thing, being independent, and then whatever's meant to be will just be. Whatever is meant to be. When it is the right time in my life for me to meet baby boy Prince, then he'll just come. He will just come. Whether it's in Tesco. To be fair, the boy in Tesco here is actually really fit. He's really fit. I went around there early, I had no makeup on because I went to pick up a package. I was just chilling, I was like, where is my sunglasses? because I wanted to look at him when I was on self-service because he was chilling behind the thing and I was like, it's fit though, hun buns. I feel like I tell you everything. I'm so open, aren't I? I'm like, I saw a fit boy today. <gasps> Speaking of which, I should tell you this. I was about to film, I sat down and I was like, my armpit hairs, I shaved them yesterday. I came down, sat down here. I was doing my eyebrows and I looked in the mirror and I was like, what is that? What is that? I had to run upstairs. I was like, I can't film and have that for my buns. Okay, we're gonna mix Nancy, Madison, and Alison. We're gonna spray my Morphe M433 with a little bit of Mario Badescu. I'm gonna pat this all over the look. This is nice. I like this. Then we're gonna take my E40, go back into Riley, and we're just gonna deepen the crease a tiny bit and blend that all together. Go back in with my Morphe M511. I actually feel so professional because I'm sitting here with a table and a mirror. I can't! I'm not professional because I still don't know what I'm doing. All the gear and no idea. I worry about myself sometimes, I really do. I'm not wearing eyelashes for this. I don't want to wear fake eyelashes for this because I want it to be quite natural, glam, but not too glam, if you know what I mean. Something you could just wear. But if you want to wear eyelashes, wear eyelashes hun but I mean I would wear this look with eyelashes but I thought I'd show you it without don't know why I thought I would but I thought I would sometimes I actually prefer no eyelashes sometimes I'm like I feel like it makes my eyes stand out a little bit more in a really weird way probably doesn't in the slightest does it doesn't but if I was to wear eyelashes with this makeup look stop talking and start doing stuff Imogen I'm taking my tweezerman eyelash curlers but if I was to wear eyelashes with this, I would wear really thin, sort of naturalish ones, if you know what I mean. We're gonna go in first with my L'Oreal Full Slash Telescopic. This is running out, Hans. I need a new one of this. I need a new. So I went around to collect something from the post office today, right? And there was a little bit of a queue, admittedly, so maybe people were getting a bit funny because I was talking. But there was this guy, and he was in training, and I was talking to him about certain things. I was asking him questions about the letters and whatever. I was just being friendly. He was in training, and I felt like I wanted to make him feel a little bit more like, you know when it's your first day, and you feel a little bit scared, everything's a bit daunting? I thought I'd just be friendly and be nice to him. Well, I had people going, oh, it's like there were three other people, Huns, that could have served you. I'm chatting to my mate, Barry. Don't remember his name, 
And we're gonna call him Bazza. Barry, mate, if you're watching this, you're definitely not. But if you are watching this, if you're not watching this, I'll make sure you subscribe on our next go round. <laughs> But Barry, mate, if you are watching this, I hope you had a really good first day, baby boy. I hope you did, because I was trying to talk to you for about half an hour. <laughs> he was probably like, oh my god, she's asking me all these questions. I was like, oh, you're doing really well. It's your first day, babe. Don't let that dry. We're going straight in with our full slash sculpt bar again, L'Oreal. I'm dirty. Did you see that hair? Oh, it's chilling with me still. Oh my god. I should... No, I shouldn't be allowed to do this YouTube business, should I? You should see inside my makeup bag. Oh my god. So we had that one for length and now we got this one for volume. See me, I just went volume. Then we're gonna go back in with my L'Oreal telescopic just to make sure we can get a bit more length from them. Oh, it's raining. I wish we were all chilling watching a DVD, watching a Disney film together. A cuddling. I'm such a cuddler and I invade people's personal space. Like if someone was sitting there, I'd be like that. I don't know why it's really weird, like I wouldn't turn away from them, I'd turn into them. Probably because I just really like affection, I love affection. We're going to take my Sigma E30 brush and take Fiona, a bit of Fifi, Fifi's world. That used to be on Milkshake when I used to babysit my little brother. Oh my god, that is pigmented, isn't it? Go on then. She used to go, Fifi's world. I used to love it so much. <laughs> but all the way along the brow bone there, not just that little chilling bit there. We're gonna make this even more glowy. We want glow, we want glow. To be fair, this Flash Beauty Balm is giving me glow, but I'm gonna add more glow, cause you know about the glow. You know, you know. Okay, we're gonna take the NARS Copacabana Illuminator, cause you know, one of you Huns wrote to me and they were like, find a guy that loves you as much as Imogen loves NARS Copacabana, it's true, if only. Okay, and I'm going to take this on my Sigma Duo Fibre Brush and just chill there. We're looking like a grease ball and I like it, I like it, I like it. I'm so weird. I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 220 because this is a really thin foundation. It's really dewy. And I'm going to take my Spectrum AO6 brush just to get it onto my face because I find I've been doing this lately, right? Because a lot of the product gets lost in Beauty Blender sometimes, doesn't it? I feel like this way I really get a lot more for my money, not for my money, but... I like get more out of the pump. So we're doing it this way. Probably the wrong way to do it, but is there a right way with makeup? No. If you like the way it looks, then you like the way it looks, hun buns. If you don't have normal to dry skin like me, huns, then I would suggest the Rimmel Lasting Perfection. I think that's the one. And that doesn't have a dewy finish, but it's quite thin as well. Because if you're going for that natural look, you don't want to seem like you've got a lot of makeup on, if you know what I mean. One on to one neck. <laughs> Getting that vibrato. Don't know whether that was me or whether I was pressing, you know. <laughs> I'm only joking. I spray my beauty blender with Mario Badesco. Because you know I love that spray. And then I just go in. Just because I feel like it adds a little bit more dewiness. But also, it sets that. I know it sounds really weird and probably no one seems to do that. But I like doing that. Always have a face wipe to be able to go like that. We clean the hand. I'm obsessed with this concealer. Everyone knows that. The NYX HD Studio Finish Concealer in beige. Beige. <laughs> if anyone watched mine and my dad's video. Is this an alright angle if I'm looking at the mirror like this? Is that okay for my honeys? Love you. Love you. For oily skin, then definitely set your face. I'm going to put a little bit of powder on, but I'm not baking. My RCMA No Colour Powder and my Morphe M433. It's not the M4338, it's the M438. I'm just going to dust this under my eyes and dust this anywhere I think needs to be set a little bit. I've got a little scar, right, just below my nose here. And it's from when my little brother was young and he clipped me with his fingers and his nails were so sharp. And I love it. Every time I look at that scar, I'm like, you could be. Oh, I love it so much. I wouldn't change it for the world because I'm like, my little baby, I remember. I still remember it to this day. Hugo was so blonde when he was younger, even blonder than he is now. He was so bright blonde and he had curly hair and he had this beautiful little Dalmatian baby grow on. I'm obsessed with babies in baby grows. Their little feet, when they can't get out, their little baby feet in the baby grows. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so obsessed with babies. And I remember him being in this Dalmatian little baby grow and I remember being like, he scratched me and it was bleeding, but I didn't care. Because I was like, my little baby, I just want to squeeze you. I love you so much. We have this word in my family called shoppy. Instead of something being soppy, we call it shoppy. So if I ever say, that's so shoppy, that's just the, what we say in my family. I'm like, shoppiness. We say shoppiness. I'm just getting used to my phrases because obviously I say everything 25 times, a million times a second. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but I'm saying shoppy. <laughs> with my Sigma E30 brush, we're going to go with Caitlin and Alice. Bring that underneath the lower lash line. I'm going to take the same brush we used the glitter with earlier, 
I'm going to go back into those three shades, Maddie, Jessica and Nancy. Madeline, Jessica and Nancy, girls. Feel free to put mascara under their hands. I mean, feel free to never copy this look in your life. And if you do copy this look, then please tag me in it because I love it when anyone does that. If anyone tags me in anything on Instagram, I'm like, I love it so much. I always write, I love you. And I'm going to take my Do The Hula from Benefit. And this is like a liquid bronzer. I'm obsessed with this. I only tried this the other day when I did this makeup look and I was like, okay, I love it. Okay, I love it. There's these bananas sitting in front of me, right? And they're just green. They're green. I mean, I know we've got to wait for them to get ripe and all that, but I like a good banana. I like banana in porridge. Ooh. There's a place in London called 26 Grains and I'm going to take Lucy there. Oh my God, it's just porridge all day. But it's the best porridge. It's got like coconut milk, almond milk, but it does it with like apple, cinnamon. You can have ones with like cacao, chocolate. Oh, it's unreal. And I get the banana, apple, cinnamon. Oh, I don't even know what it is. I, I could eat it for dinner, breakfast, lunch and dinner. It's unreal. If anyone's in London, go to 26 Grains. I love finding places like that, but I'm going to take Lucy there next week. Oh wait, also, this is really good because it's matte. It's not going to be really dewy on our cheeks because we've got a lot of dewiness to come. So if you have got oily skin, it's a good one. It's a good liquid bronzer for my gals. I've got you, huns. Even though I don't have oily skin, I've got you, baby gals. I've got you. Does anyone ever watch these videos and think I'm really weird? Because if you do, then thanks for still watching them. <laughs> if you think I'm weird and you still watch my videos, then I love you. Being weird is cool. Being weird is the new cool. I'm sorry. I love being weird. We should all be weird. Okay, I'm obsessed with this. I just shook the table because I'm that obsessed. This is the NYX No Filter Finishing Powder in the shade Mahogany. Got an itchy nose. Oh, ah. <laughs> this is the best thing to contour with. It's, I think it's a foundation where it's a finishing powder. I don't even know. I don't even know. But I use this to contour. So I get a darker shade obviously. And I'm just, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with it. Do you know why I like it? It's got a bit of a sheen in it. So it does have a little bit of a glow in it but not too much for shimmer, that it looks like I've just got highlighter all over my cheek. Do you know what I mean? You need to try this, Huns. Maybe this is too dark for me, but I like a dark contour, you know? Then just to clean up those edges, I'm taking my powder brush. <laughs> kiss, kiss. You don't have to act like star. Try the in the back of your car. My brain is just one big butterfly like that. Chilling. That's time for my favorite part. Let's start with the glow. Ah, oh, also, that's what I'm forgetting. You rubbish at this Imogen. Let's go back with that pencil brush and into the Fiona shade. And let's get that tear duct chilling with some highlight. Sorry, tear duct, I left you out, my little honeybee. Do I need to speak? Shall I speak? Okay, I'm gonna take my iconic illuminator drops. Look at them. Chill. That's what I forgot. Oh no, I didn't. I was gonna put my gold light on from MAC, but I used my NARS Copacabana, didn't I? I'm so funny, I'm so funny. Did you just say you're funny? Yeah, you did. I actually find myself really funny, I'm not gonna lie to you, Hans. The thing is, you wouldn't say something if you didn't find it funny yourself, would you? Can you see that glow though? Yeah, of course you can. Of course you can, of course you can. <laughs> then I'm gonna spray my face. I felt like it went in my eye then. Did I have my eye open? No, I didn't. I had my eyes closed, didn't I? I'll rewatch the footage back and see. And I'm gonna take my favorite highlighter. I did a video on my top 10 favorite highlighters and I found my favorite highlighter. I found my favourite highlighter ever. Oh no. Hans, I've smashed it. I've smashed it, can you see? It's in the top part there. How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna have to buy another one. No, it's like a puzzle piece. I'm gonna have to try and get back together. <sighs> Doesn't matter, cause we're making it work for this video because we're making it work, okay. Oh honey bees, look we've got little sex sections. It's like a little puzzle. We're gonna go into my little broken baby. I love you, Angel. I did just air kiss you. We're gonna go into my NYX eyeshadow in the shade Girl Talk. And I'm gonna talk to my huns about this. I'm gonna talk to my huns about this. Can you see that? I'm talking to my huns about this because I need to. I'm so sad it's broken, but it's not really the biggest deal, is it? <laughs> Let's be honest. It's still working. She's still working. Go over the nose. I love a highlighted nose. I really do. Highlight over your lips. Lips and tick. I love this because it's like a pinky champagne-y colour and then I think my next pigment in the number seven is like this mermaidy gold weird amazing pop of every colour in the world that you'd want highlighted on your cheeks like I'm obsessed with it look at that this is every glow you'd ever want like this is the glow I'm obsessed I'm obsessed do you know why I like it so much because in different lights it looks a different colour like right now over here in this light it's looking goldy. When I look back, it looks a bit pinky. Because it's got different specks of colour in it. Oh, I love it. Oh, I 
little bit. And I'm gonna take my California blush. Just gonna go, not too much on my actual cheek, just into the bronzer. I feel like I can't really do a makeup look without blush. Cause I feel like it just makes everything mesh into each other. I'm glowy, aren't I? I'm glowy. Do you love it? I love it. If you don't love it, then I'm sorry, but I love it. Zen Force Lips. My Rimmel Lip Liner in Cappuccino. And we're gonna overline those bad boys. You know about this light. Look how scary that looks, cause it's so dark, but it does calm down, I promise. I'm just gonna pat it in. Go with my NYX Matte Lip Cream in London. In London! London's burning, London's burning, Ashley. I used to play that on my recorder and thought I was so good at the recorder. This is like a brownie orange, I really like this. I used to love the recorder and the triangle. Then this is where the magic happens. This is the one. This is the Smashbox Liquid Metal in Petal Metal. Oh my God, this is insane. It's like gold on your lip. Can you see that? Can you see that? It is so pigmented, I'm obsessed with this. Smashbox, well done, Huns. Well done, honeybees. Look at that. Look at it. I can't, I've got two mirrors. I don't know which mirror to look in. And if you feel like there are any areas where you feel like it's a bit too dewy, then just go over with your powder brush again and just pat it down. Spray. Okay, so that is it for the finished makeup look. I really hope you like this makeup look. And I thought I'd show you how I got that kind of wet look off the face hair look that I did in this video, that video, whatever. But we'll go and do it now together. I hope we will. Let's do it together. If you've made it to this point, by the way, well done, angels. So if you want to take my Mario Badesco spray, because it smells like rose water, and it makes it a little bit wet, and we can move it around. So I just spray it at the top front of my hair. I'm going to take any comb. I'm just going to comb back and going over it with my fingers. Then I'm going to take my bed head or any hairspray you want and just spray it at the very front, like a line at the very front there. Then we're going to go back and do the same. Go through it with the comb, go like that. Go through it with the comb, go like that. And so on. <laughs> then I'm going to go with a hairbrush and just brush it over again. Keep doing the same thing. Now what some people do like to do is just grip certain bits in. You can use a gel, you can use mousses, but I literally leave it like this and then I'll do the same process again twice. That was four. Twice. <laughs> Hairspray and the wetness have dried. It gives you a bit more movement to be able to brush through. Either at the front and tuck it behind your ears, or you can wear it at the back, which I quite like. Now when it's dried, what I like to do is, I like to go through each section and just back comb it slightly, and then brush through the back comb. I'll do that again. So I just go through, maybe pick the front section up, back comb at the back, like that, and then brush that through. It's gonna keep it there all day. So I'll take the side section here, and I'll back comb here, not right at the root, back comb there. And then I'm just gonna brush it through like that. It lacks that wet look in place. Same thing on the side. Dee 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 dee. Just gonna give you extra body as well, hun buns. And who doesn't want extra volume on the hair, you know? If you don't then, sorry, I'll do. Look, can you see? It just stays there because of the back comb. We're just gonna take the iconic illuminator drops and just put it on the collarbone there and a little bit on our side here. Wee, wee. Then we're gonna beauty blend that in. I don't know why I'm saying we, but okay. All over my bod, 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 body. I think I've used Mario about 17 million times in this, but you can guess what we're gonna do. Uh, you can guess. I just sprayed my face, did you see that? <gasps> oh, I can taste rose water. I can taste the rose water. Then we're just gonna wet our body a bit like that. You know. For even more glow, cause we don't stop there. We're gonna keep going for the glow. Then we're gonna take our highlighting brush that we used on our cheeks, and we're just gonna go over where we just did that. Ow, I just whacked my elbow. <laughs> then we're gonna take a drink out of our unicorn cup. Not everyone's gonna do that, but I will do that. I will definitely do that. Hun buns, we are done. Probably should have worn an orange top to go with the whole orangey look, but there we go. Do you like it? I hope you like it, Angel, I really do. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, then thank you so much for getting to this point. I hope you subscribe, and I hope you still like me after probably half an hour of me talking about absolute rubbish. I'm gonna do the song challenge, which means that I mind the song, and you just gotta guess the song. If anyone did actually watch this, thanks so much. Okay, this is a really old song by a girl that used to be in a band and left the band. She was the only girl in the band, there you go.
We talking champagne witnesses, caviar drippings. You deserve nothing but all the finer things. I don't know why I just did that. You deserve nothing but all the finer things. Now this whole world has no clue what to do with us. I got enough money in the bank for the two of us. Ain't gotta keep enough lettuce to support your shoe. Fattest lifestyle, so rich and famous. Robin Leach will get jealous. Half a million but it's stole. Taking trips from here to wrong. Cause if you ain't got no money, take Take your broke ass home. <laughs> How fun was that? I love learning raps. If you have any songs that you think there's a good rap in, please let me know because I love learning them. I mean, I know that's a really weird request, but you know me, I'm a weirdo. Okay, so until next time, angels, thank you so much for watching this. I am so grateful if anyone ever watches my makeup tutorials. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And glow and go. Oh. Go and glow to the gods. Go, glow, you know. <laughs> if you do recreate this look, please let me know. You know. Okay. <laughs> okay. See you guys. I'm carrying him. <laughs> that was amazing. I love you. You're the best. I'm saying, guys, keep the Baymax pictures coming. I love seeing them. Yeah. We love them so much. I'm like, Jacob, I've got another photo of someone that met Baymax. We literally oh, watched videos. God, Didn't one, we watch a video? Of the arms like this. The arms were round like that, weren't oh, they? That was the best thing. We love Baymax. We're so shoppy about Baymax. Baymax is bae. Baymax is bae. Baymax. <laughs>